you should be uh, you know well versed about your personality that why you are doing something what are your strength weakness so you should be very clear about your uh, career path that why say be what is your future plan and uh, like as girish mentioned that uh, uh, he studied sebi report so although it was not directly it did not directly help in the interview but still it gave a good impression on the panelists that he has prepared extra so this is one thing i mentioned that you know if you want to enter any organization you know you live in that organization you sleep that organization like if you have seen aspirants for uh, civil services they put a poster of labasna in their rooms what is the reason behind it the simple reason is that they they are trying to visualize themselves that they are, they are feel like they have become officer so it is very important to feel like that Hello and welcome everyone to our channel Anujindal dot in. Today we have with us Girish Tiwari, who has cleared SEBI Great Examination 2022. So today we are going to take his interview so that our aspirants who are preparing for SEBI Great A 2023 they can get benefit from his strategies and what all did he followed to achieve and to crack this prestigious examination such as SEBI Great A. So we'll start with the interview. So Girish, I would like to have a brief background, your background, your education qualifications. Uh, thank you for inviting me, sir. Uh, so friends, I have cleared my company secretaryship and and become in two thousand sixteen. Then I have pursued two years of training, which finally got completed in two thousand eighteen. Uh, since then, I was preparing for various exams, including civil services and state services and other exams. But this two years of COVID have affected all of us. Uh, this opportunity came into being, and then my friend informed me that you should give because of uh, of, of the, the background that I had, and so I pursued this. And now I'm here, sir. Thank you, Girish. So as Girish told us that he is from commerce background, so yes, that somehow helps uh, in in the preparation. But I would like to know from you, Girish, that uh, how did you manage your time? Like you were preparing for civils also, so how did you allocate your hours of the day? Like this many hours for this particular subject because we know that in SEBI exam in paper two we have six subjects. So how did you manage all the six subjects? Uh, so sir, uh, I was not simultaneously preparing for the civils. Now I have like dedicatedly prepared for SEBI uh, since December twenty one when the then there was news of notification that is a. Uh, About to arrive, so I started preparing. Uh, I started preparing for phase one. By where I where for phase one, there were two papers, and I have given much more focus on quant and English than not reasoning much. And for phase two, much of the paper that that I already had a background, so I just stick to the syllabus, and uh, and and followed the impo the mock tests and and the rest of things. And so it, it went easily, sir. There was there was no problem. But in phase two, the time was very very limited. So there, there you have to manage your time and you have to divide your subjects. And then you have to study for eight nine hours at least. Okay. So uh, as Girish told that, uh, as since there was we know that between phase one and phase two we have only one month. So obviously we have to allocate more hours. But it's better that we start with paper two or basically phase two before also like. Simultaneously, we should prepare for as Girish told us. So, Girish, I would like to know that uh, did you refer to any material, any particular source, or you watch YouTube videos or any particular uh, YouTube channel you followed so that our aspirants could also benefit from that channel or particular videos? If you can just tell us. Uh, yes, sir. I have uh, followed. Earlier, I was like preparing myself, uh, where I did not follow much uh, notes and material, but uh, as my friends have suggested that you should. Take at least one note. So I have arranged one of the coaching institute's note, and then in the mock test also they provided. I prepared dedicatedly, and I just stick to the syllabus and the notes they have given. Uh, later on, I also tried to add uh, to something which I could, and and then I have this. This is how I prepared, sir. Okay, so uh, Girish, uh, if you can like to, if you would like to tell us that, uh, like there were six subjects as we mentioned. So, uh, any subject you find that it is difficult for even a co commerce graduate person or a commerce background person or any particular subject you feel that should be given more focus upon because. in my sessions uh, which i conducted uh, this year for 2022 so what i found was that majority of the candidates were weak in economics particularly so if you can throw some light because since you are a company secretary and you are from bcom you have you have done bcom also so you have a fairly good idea about the subjects their syllabus and the difficulty level so if any particular subject you would like to stress upon that should be more focused upon by the candidates uh, yes it depends upon a person's ability i i would say 
for example economics was not uh, a difficult thing for me and but however uh, for me uh, costing was difficult thing so i had pursued and then uh, gave much more attention to costing and not to the subjects where i have like a good understanding especially like company sector uh, being a company secretary i had a good background in a 14 in the subjects so accordingly i have divided my time and and i have practiced the mocks of cost a lot uh, because uh, i was feeling that this is uh, an area where numericals would be asked much more and and, and accordingly i have divided so okay so grij you just mentioned about mocks yes. so uh, candidates have a lot of query regarding that what is the right time to start the mocks and at least how many mo mocks they should be writing you know before the examination so anything particularly about the mock test how they helped you in your preparation and what is the relevance of mocks because sometimes uh, we do not uh, give much importance to mock tests so anything about mock tests yes sir sir so i have started late and so as soon as i started to complete some of the aspects uh, and subjects I, I started giving mocks but i would say that for those who are preparing they should take enough time and if they are preparing for six months, if they have completed certain aspects of syllabus, they should start giving mocks. And, and not only giving mocks, they should also analyze them and also revise them. And whatever they find it, uh, they do not have the, in their material, they can add things from the mock in their notes. I have made like physical notes, so I used to add the, those material to my notes. And, and accordingly, you should revise them multiple times so that you can grasp those things much more easily. Okay. So, like Girish mentioned about notes, so he, he made certain notes and I think this is one area which is very important. You refer any material, but you should have your own handwritten notes because that would, that would help you in your revision. So, revision is also one such area uh, which we generally ask from the candidates who clear the examination because revision, although everybody does revision, but the way to revise is not always up to the mark. We revise, but we revise in a very... Uh, you know clumsy manner so anything about revision particularly what is the good way to revision and uh, like how many times a person should revise whether he should revise week on a weekly basis on a monthly basis or particularly your strategy regarding revision uh, sir so revision is very very important thing as we all say that revision is the key to success uh, because once you have studied uh, something and you are not revising it's actually wasting your time and so once you are done with things and, and you feel that you have also given the mocks, you should start uh, revising and, and there's a golden rule to revise that uh, once you revise within 24 hours, then you revise in one week. And so and, and it really helps in, in, in embedding those things in your mind. And, and if you revise then again, again, for me, like I always make physical notes and by making physical notes, I ensure that I could revise them multiple times, even during the time where I have my exam and two hours left. I could just uh, go through the notes very, very, very quickly. So I, I would say that revision is very, very important, sir. Okay, so that's a good input which I think all the viewers can take from Girish about revision. And one thing more, uh, Girish, like uh, paper one of phase two, which is English descriptive. So like this time I noticed the scores of candidates, it was somewhere 50, 54 or somewhere, uh, somewhere having scores below 50. So uh, English descriptive is one thing because since it has one third weightage, so we sort of bypass it that it is not that important. So we generally focus more on paper two, which is logical also. But again, phase one that is descriptive, phase two paper one that is descriptive, that should also be given due importance. So anything about your strategy regarding how you prepared for English descriptive particularly? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I, I think in my opinion, English descriptive is, is the game changer because paper two, uh, it has equal chances for everyone. and. Uh, even uh, the people from the commerce background in CA and CS, they find it much more easier. And for the people who are non-technical or non-commerce background, I would say that uh, the descriptive paper would be a game changer for you. I consider people have also scored 70 plus in that paper. Yes, uh, and, and I agree with sir, this, this time the, the number of marks have been less. And uh, But I would say uh, two things, uh, you jot down the topics for the essay, uh, which you feel important and, and you practice them on your keyboard and then and, um, and and also try to improve your speed and second thing sir the press day so i i always stick to reading newspaper and whatever article i used to find good i just used to make a press of it so i have practiced around 2020 essays or 20 uh, presses and accordingly i have uh, prepared for this descriptive part though the marks are uh, around 60 so but i think one should be more focused in this area so that's a very good uh, input uh, from uh, girish that 
daily newspaper reading habit is very important for particularly descriptive see it will serve multiple purposes like your phase one preparation for ga would be automatically done then your finance current affairs would also get somehow covered and more importantly your english descriptive part it would uh, you know editorials and all those sections if you read those sections that will help a lot in your vocabulary in your sentence formation and uh, all those things so girish like uh, now i think we have discussed about phase one and phase two we'll jump on to interview part but before that i would like to know that did you pursue any you know financial courses like financial modeling or maybe an nism courses or ncfm courses because uh, generally these courses you know uh, help us in in interview because before the panelist it gives a good impression so anything about those courses if you have uh, if you want to tell anything about the viewers uh, about any courses which they can do particularly for interview purpose uh, sir i don't i don't think there are there is a need for any course you just have to prepare your own bio data to prepare the current affairs as well as about savvy in organization how it works and and just give mock test mock interviews as many as possible i have given four mock interviews and i think i was uh, benefit i had benefited from them a lot and uh, because it also helps in you uh, as a icebreaker and, and it also gives you a feeling of how things will be uh, going on in your actual mock interview though the, my actual uh, mock interview was uh, a bit more uh, a grilled one uh, because the chairman was like i don't know his mood was not okay and uh, so he was like uh, uh, asking questions and again again repeating trying uh, to judge my personality and and it went for 20 20 uh, five minutes uh, and and i i, I scored uh, on an average level in my interview uh, but i would say that uh, since i got a good num good number of days for interview i would say that you prepare yourself and because it's a test of your personality and not knowledge and in my also interviews sir they haven't asked much on the subject matter uh, moreover they stick to the my my personality and why sebi and and economy and current affairs uh, things were they have uh, th this is how the area of center focus they, they, this they ask so as girish mentioned that a lot of focus was on hr questions particularly yes. apart from technical more focus was on hr so it's important that you prepare for hr well because see everybody's uh, history has is different somebody may be working somebody may have a gap of some years so that for preparing for those areas then why sebi why you want to pursue in finance because many people are from science background so it becomes difficult for them to justify that why now they're switching their careers so girish anything about mock interviews that like uh, if you would like to disclose from where you took mock interviews or any feedback you particularly got from your mock interviews which you implemented in the actual interview and which helped you uh, in your actual interview uh, yes sir so i had given four mocks and the feedback which i got i had tried to include in my uh, preparation i was uh, practicing in front of mirror trying to speak how i am uh, sentencing myself uh, what is speed uh, what is the speed which uh, which i am talking so in in uh, the feedback some uh, one mock i got the feedback that you have to be slow down and you have to speak uh, more clearly i was speaking fast and and uh, some of the mocks also suggested that you should also prepare the sebi annual report uh, though i do not find much use uh, i don't know why they are uh, saying sir but nobody has asked any questions and even they were surprised uh, because they asked me so what you have prepared and 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 have you attended mocks so i said yes i have attended mocks and then they even said what have you prepared and what they what they have given you the feedback i said this that uh, they have asked me to go through the reports so, and they were surprised and, uh, and because uh, they said that uh, have you gone through the entire report uh, so this was even a moment of surprise uh, i so uh, maybe because the people uh, uh, who have faculty they would be suggesting the sebi annual report or these stuff just to uh, get yourself feeling of how sebi works uh, this might be the reason but i i do say that you have to prepare on yourself uh, your personality much more uh, this is uh, my aspect which i have experienced uh, so that's important like uh, you should be uh, you know well versed about your personality that why you are doing something what are your strengths weakness so you should be very clear about your uh, career path that why sebi what is the future plan and uh, like as girish mentioned that uh, uh, he studied sebi report so although it was not directly it did not directly help in the interview but still it gave a good impression on the panelists that he has prepared extra so this is one thing i mentioned that you know if you want to enter any organization you know you live in that organization you sleep that organization like if you have seen aspirants for uh, civil services they put a poster of labasna in their rooms what is the reason behind it the simple reason is that 
they they are trying to visualize themselves that they are, they are feel like they have become officer so it is very important to feel like that so i think law of attraction that is the secret i, I think most of us have read this book so although it is somewhat controversial some people say it doesn't work but i think that if you you know uh, read about the organization how it works what is the structure i think that somehow uh, helps you in uh, you know clearing the examination uh, so some uh, uh, before we end the session one final question from girish regarding the numerical aspect because i saw in phase 2 i think 20% questions were from numericals okay so anything particular girish about numericals before we end the session Uh, yes sir so in phase 2 numericals forms a, a junk of your syllabus and and number of questions uh, they were asked in this year i think many were surprised to see the kind of numericals and the length as they have got because it was very very difficult to finish them in a particular time frame of 40 uh, minutes mm-hmm. uh, so i would say that you have to prepare the numericals uh, from the very early stage and in my opinion uh, and sir i do not have the the good number of numericals in my case so i had prepared whatever i could Uh, but i would say that you have to prepare uh, even a deeper aspect uh, because the length of numericals is much more and numericals forms the basis uh, whether you clear or not uh, so because i was able to gauge that uh, the paper was tough so i had restricted myself and i and i have not attempted about uh, seven to eight numericals though i have cleared uh, but uh, it may not be it may not work for you so you better be prepared Uh, so that was important i think that grish mentioned because paper was lengthy so the selection of questions which he did i think that made all the difference because i think all of us were well prepared but which questions we attempted which questions he left for the last i think that made a difference because lengthier questions he should have left for the end this year i think numerical questions were a bit lengthy so uh, any final words any final suggestions for the aspirants preparing for the next year because you gave this year exam so any input that uh, any particular area which you think candidates should focus upon any final words uh, so i uh, i would say that the competition is increasing day by day if you have uh, like made up your mind that you would pursue these exams be it any exam like civil services or these regulatory board exams uh, you should not bog down by one attempt at least you should give second or third attempt because there are greater chances of selection and 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 preparation and material everything will be arranged it's just you have to maintain your consistency and perseverance because things are very very difficult and and the the aspect and the percentage of the ratio of clearing the number of people is very very less so just stick to the, uh, the what you are giving and focus on it and uh, continue to give that you would clear yes so that's that's very essential that don't don't get you know uh, uh, apprehended or don't get frightened by the type of competition obviously competition will increase uh, every year because now people candidates are getting acquainted with the type of question so you have to be better prepared one step ahead of other candidates okay so with that i think we will conclude the session here i would like to congratulate and thank girish for sparing his time because now i know that it is hectic for him also because uh, there are a lot of formalities to be done medicals and all so i would like to congratulate and thank girish uh, with a small momento uh, so please girish accept this <laughs> okay so with that guys we'll end the session Uh, thank you very much all the very best take care and have a nice day thank you